Hello, my name is JDR. Um, viewer discretion advice is just my opinion. And I please, I hope, but please do not be offended or take my opinions the wrong way uh, regarding the, this anime or, or whatever the case may be. All anime is great. When, when I don't say everyone, but you know, they all have their own special qualities. But <clears throat> yeah, but about Naruto though. Shout out Kita Beats, man. He really put me on. Like, he put me all the way on Naruto, man. Um, again, I say. Again, because it's just a little bit of a, like, a timeline or backstory. Was that, um, like, I was supposed to been watch, I was supposed to be watching Naruto, like, a year, a year or two ago. And I got, like, fit, like, like, what? Not 15. Like, 13. 14 ish episodes, but I was watching it. I wasn't really taking it in. I was just, just you know, watching it just to, just cause like, hey, watch it, watch it. You know, all right, yeah, yeah. It was no big deal back then, but this time, this time me watching it, oh my, bro, I'm look, I'm 20 episodes in. I finished the 20th episode la the last night. Absolutely fantastic. I whew, like I, I don't know. It may be better than Dragon Ball Z, but <laughs> I'm sorry, nothing beats Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's absolutely it's the best. But Naruto is absolutely fantastic. I'm only 20 episodes in, and each episode it gets better. It gets better. Every episode is like a movie. It's almost like, well, they're they're not like uh, they're animes, but um, Death Note. Oh my gosh, that was a whew. Death Note was good, but this pales. Death Note pales in comparison to Naruto. Naruto is twenty episodes in, and so much has happened. So much has happened in twenty episodes. Dragon Ball Z, it takes forever for something, for the ball to get rolling. Forever. 20 episodes in, and spoilers, spoilers. But like, you know, they, they fought Zabusa and Haku. They both got clapped. They're both dead. Uh, like, it was just beautiful. Like, music, the ambience, the, 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 the writing, the voice acting. Oh my, I'm, I'm sitting here watching this in awe. Like, I got, like, my blood is boiling. Like, I can't wait for another episode. Like, I try to get done with everything I want to get done that day just so I can get packed to watch Naruto. And I'm only 20 episodes in. I have so much more episodes to watch. And then the Shippuden? Man, please. Like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to watch more Naruto. But, like, as far as, like, episodes 1 through 20, man, like, um... Absolutely, just I can't. There's no other adjective I can use to describe it besides fantastic. And, and the reason I say that is because, like, you, you know, Naruto basically, you know, this 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 kid who um who, who I mean, uh, like um, how, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Bird? What's the word? Bird? Uh, outcast. He's an outcast, and uh, it just so happened to have the nine tail. Uh, fox inside him, you know, just the, I guess, like, the story that, like, the, the kid who rises up, he just want to become important, and I totally understand that feeling, he just want to become important, become a, a person of, of, of meaning and substance, and, and just simply don't want to feel like how he felt before ever again, so, you know, he, he works his butt off, he trains hard, uh, he does everything with he's pure heart you know he has some talent but he's pure heart everything he based off everything I see now in Naruto is pure heart he's pure heart like he's just he's just like a straight through you know Sasuke fire character beautiful writing beautiful character he he's basically like he, he's basically talent He's just a, a a really good ninja. He got them crazy eyes. Uh, I can't think of it. I can't think of like the names and things like that. 
of the, like it's not like a shower gun, but I don't know. He got some contacts. So I, I can't think of it. He got like the, the red eye thing. But uh, yeah, he's very talented. Very talented ninja. Very talented ninja. Uh, I believe right now he's the best talent wise. But obviously Naruto is the strongest. I mean, obviously Naruto is the strongest. But um, they also have Sakura. Sakura, she's the supposed to be the like, the smartest ninja. I guess she's more fundamental. I guess you could say she's uh, very fundamental. She's very by the book. Beautiful character as well. And I love their 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 dynamic, the the trio, how it works. You know, you, you see the red, yellow, blue. Yeah, yeah. You know how they come together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. <clears throat> so uh, yeah. Sakura likes Sasuke, and Naruto likes Sakura. And Sasuke, uh, I don't remember what the, it, it's, I, I love it, because they, they all flow with one another, because Naruto and Sasuke have a rivalry, and that's always interesting to see their, uh, dynamic, you know, in play, because, uh, they secretly, I mean, they, they, on paper, they hate each other, or they seem like, but they really love each other, they like each other, not, you know, like, not like, 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 None, none weird, but like, you no, know, they have such a, a strong respect for one another, and you can't help but, you know, appreciate that. I gotta turn my mic up a little bit, but I mean, you can't help but appreciate that. And <clears throat> I mean, it, it's just so beautiful to watch them. They got uh, man, Kakashi, man, what a character! You know, he he. His character is just so different, you know. He he's the 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 leader, not a leader, but like the teacher, the sensei, and stuff like that. He you know lead them, guide them, and for them for that little trio that that group was like the first group to pass his test. I mean that says a lot about that group. It says a lot about them, and it I just love how the I just love to see dynamics and see how. It compares to, like, to another dynamic. It really shows, like, what they're made out of. It's great. It's beautiful. And then also, um, yeah, um, that sh- that was just so far how like, you know, Naruto was basically begging, uh, the what the fourth Hokage, fifth I don't know the Hokage, the boss, the big boss. He was begging him, uh, begging him for like a like a what a C level mission at least. Cause they they were assigned a D level mission. They were do, basically doing like some little odd jobs, little things around the 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 uh, the village and things like that. And I was told, like, nah, nah, I wanna I wanna see Rain mission. You know, I'm I'm all like I'm I'm sitting here watching like, dang, he really about that. And so they they get a C rank mission. Oh, they were assigned a C rank mission. Um uh, and. They, they were supposed to protect this builder, and like while he was protecting like the builder, or whatever. This is like way, way, way down, and in the story. So like when he was protecting the builder, um, they, they were attacked by ninjas and stuff like that. And the the basically the context behind that was that uh a guy uh his name Gato was uh like assigning like these ninjas. To stop uh, the bridge builder from building a bridge, so because that bridge was going to uh, basically give him like a gateway or access to like other like other villages, so that way they can bring in trade. Because the village is poor, so they they have to they they have to um, build this bridge in order so they can get more resources, so that way they can survive and thrive. Now, uh, of course, he got a the bridge builder got a you know. Uh, Got like a hit on him because, well, I mean, because Gato put a hit on him, and the reason being is because they, I guess, Gato, I'm sorry, I'm kind of butchering it, but Gato basically he just don't want, I, he don't want the city to prosper, I guess, because of, uh, I mean, I'm trying to think, think of the one reason. I don't want to just sit here and, and like assume, but the one reason, the one reason was because of. He didn't. He didn't want. 
he just didn't want the, the, the town to thrive. I guess he was the one supplying them. And so they had to buy from him or whatever so he can make all the money. I don't know. Some evil. Some evil. But uh, he hired some, some ninjas, two ninjas, and, and they basically failed. You know, that was light work. But then uh, Zabasa got on it. He got he hopped on the mission. And at first, like, his introduction was fire. Like, he was fire. He, he threw a sword. He, 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 like, jumped on it, landed on it. He, was, he wasn't even looking at him at first. He was just, he was just peeping him from the back. Like, it was, it was cool. And, um, yeah, he, he was, um, uh, and they, they were about to scrap. Like, it was Kakashi and, uh, Zabso. They, they were about to basically scrap and whatever. It was weird because it's like, man, like, I don't, I don't really know how strong Kakashi is at this point. I'm like, I mean, Kakashi can, I mean, she, he should whoop him. Like I don't like it's weird because I don't know how strong Kakashi is. I don't even know how strong uh, 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 um, Zabasa is. I, I have no clue. But I mean they both slow. They both strong. But I don't know who's stronger. So I'm watching them battle. Or whatever. This is like clones. Like they're just clones. Like like it, it was like like a clone art. It was like it's like clone deception art. Like Naruto has some clones. Dang, I, I skipped. Dang, I skipped it. I skipped the part where Naruto basically learned um, the Shadow Clone Jitsu through that uh, that scroll that he stole, or or not stole, but you know, basically was misled to by uh, uh, M- M- Mikazi or something. M- Mikazi, he had white hair. He was basically trying to get a uh, Orochimaru, I think. Is that his name? Or something like that. Yeah, he he was trying to get a um his teacher, and Naruto wasn't having it, so he jumped him. Basically, he jumped him. I think I think he I think he died. I I don't I can't remember. Can't remember, but I just remember recently. You know the fact that Kakashi and Zabso they were scrapping. They were scrapping, and man, that was that was a good fight. I mean, it was, it was just like a lot of like mental. It was the fight. These fights are so great because they're more mental than it is just like like scrapping like with Dragon Ball Z. Because the fights in Dragon Ball Z makes you kind of like. I don't know, take a step away from the mental aspect of it. Because, like, it's just more so who's stronger. Like, physically? Like, isn't, you know, like, physically stronger? You know, like, oh, who's stronger? But, you know, Naruto is more, it's, like, all mental. These these fights, yeah, they can they can go down to the wire where they can fight and scrap. But, but, but Naruto's fights, they're all mental. It's all about planning, scheming, because... I don't know. It's not like they're on the same level, but you just have to think ahead. You gotta think like it's, it's almost like chess. So you you have to be up. You have to be ready. You have to be you don't on go. And so oh yeah, just sitting here back watching. I'm like man. I'm like I'm sitting here. Oh, all my house is over. Uh, I'm like whoa. And um as as I as I was watching it um. I think, uh, yeah, Kakashi got stuck in that, like, that, that little bubble or whatever. Uh, Zabuzo had, like, basically, in, like, a, like, a prison, a little water prison. Um, yada, yada, yada. Naruto came up with a great plan. Mental, not physical. Mental. He basically, I think, he, he turned himself, I can't think of the name of the juices, but he turned himself he turned himself into a um, in, into a, like a big like a big shuriken that split like had blades that that basically split open into like four different like shurikens on on that one thing. It's like like, like a little I'm gonna say a boomerang, but I mean it's yeah it's like a boomerang. You throw it, it just basically like a like a frisbee or whatever. So he he throws it and like if he dodges it. Zabasa dodges it with his hand still still on the on the little water bubble. He he jumps uh, jumps over it, whatever. And uh dang what happened. Yeah, he jumps over, he dodges it. And then it was like another one that was thrown, it's like a shadow, I don't know. I think another one came back, whatever. Yeah, he, no, he missed it. He missed it at first. Uh when Sasuke th- threw it, he missed it. It was supposed to come back. And that kind of got his attention away. But the other one, I guess that was, you know, thrown or whatever. 
uh, that was actually Naruto. He was actually like a shuriken. He threw, threw like a, a shuriken at Zabster to get him to move his hand off of uh, not not physically on uh Kakashi, but just like like off the, the little water bubble thing, and Kakashi ended up escaping. And so um when he escaped, damn, he like um. Uh, Oh my gosh, how can I forget? You know, Kakashi had, he got that, uh, that he got red eye, or, or pink eye, and, like, he used that jutsu, like, that joint is so fire, like, the, f- the fact that he can, he's, not, like, you know, he's a copycat ninja, but the fact that he can, like, in a sense, almost, like, he knows what you're gonna do next, and uses it against you. That's freaking hard. That is hard. And, he basically used that, uh, he used like a, some technique he was going to use on Kakashi on him, no, 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 yeah, no. Kakashi used a, te- uh, a jutsu that uh, Zabasa was going to use on him against him, uh, against uh, Zabasa. And so like, he had, uh, I'm sorry, it's just so much like back and forth, like, I don't even know how to explain it, it's just so... It's so mind mind tricky. It's so mind tricky. It really gets in, into your head. Like, dang, like this, that, that, that is so many twists. Like I'm over here stirring up pancake batter. Crazy. But um, yeah. So he used basically Kakashi used a, a technique against Zavisa that Zavisa was trying to use on Kakashi. And so he basically got uh, uh I don't know, like caught on like this little what, this baby flood. And got pushed into a tree or whatever, you know, hurt, hurt, hurt. Then all of a sudden, though, all of a sudden, um, Haku. What a character, Haku, well-written character. He comes out of nowhere, basically caps and says that, hey, you know, I'm here to, uh, no, 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 I'm sorry. He threw some, he threw like these little needle things in his neck. It didn't kill him, but you know, it, it kind of like put him in like a state of like. Not really paralyzed him, but like a temporary death. But he was still alive, and because well, he knows every muscle in the body. He knows what the pressure points and what can kill and what can't. So he just threw threw these needles at his neck, and it basically just encapsulated him. And so he uh he basically took him away. He, he was cabinet saying like he's like a tracker ninja. Who was supposed to take him away? Yeah, yeah, because he he housed secrets of the of the of the um the hidden mist, the the, the village of the hidden mist five, and he 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 begs the captain and said that, and he took him away, just to heal him, just to heal, him. and and, and I, I guess the the, the um, team seven, aka Naruto, Sasuke, Sakura. And uh, Kakashi, Team Seven, they they were um, they they had they, they were like what? what what going on like okay okay cool yeah I mean yeah take them you know that's what that's your job that's what you're supposed to do right and so they they had took them away and after that uh they had went I think they finally made it to the village or, or whatever. And when they made it to the village, they basically, oh, that's right. Kakashi was kind of like, uh, like he he wasn't he wasn't himself. He wasn't feeling right because uh, cause cause the 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 hey, what's the name of that? Shit? Oh, what's the name of it? What's the name of it? What's the name of it? I don't know. I forgot it. I forgot it already. How how am I a Naruto fan? I forgot. So like his little eye thing, his eye twitchy twitchy. It, it, it takes so much energy. It takes so much chakra. And he, um, he just, he was just tired. He basically, I think, passed out or something. So, basically, they went back to the village. Yeah, yeah. So, so he can recuperate. Then, they, like, they meet this boy. The boy had, like, a father. You know, little stepdad came into his life. Um, uh, basically taught him how to, I don't say be a man, but they, you know, taught him to have some courage. And, and to have, it, no, to, to live a life worth living, basically. You know, if you're going to have something and you want to protect it, protect it with your life. 
and defend it. I mean, no matter what the stakes or what the cost is. So, um, yeah, he basically taught him how to stand up for himself, defend himself, and fight for the things he loved. You know, real. And then after that, he got, like, the um, his dad. I can't think of his name. I'm horrible with names. But he basically got crucified for uh, being, like, not say being a hero, just sick of being a hero, but going against Gato, uh, you know, the guy who's basically trying to take over their village. He went against them. He wasn't taking no bull. So he, you know, went against them, yada, yada. Dude ended up, what, breaking his arms or something? And just put him on a cross and crucified him. And got one of the guys slashed him. So game over for him. And so uh, this kid, he's just like, he's like, dang, like, What's the point? You know, heroes, what's the point of doing it? Heroes are going to die, yeah, yeah. What I, what I understood from that was that, like, it was just so crazy because, like, he, oh, uh, I mean, you have to fight for something. You got to have a, a, a goal. I mean, you're here alive. I mean, you're, you're going to die anyway. You might as well die for what you love to do. It's as simple as that. But it, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful. Um, it, but like I'm only 20 episodes in though, and for for all that to happen in 20 episodes, that's insane. That's crazy. And I'm just sitting here watching the yada yada. So Zabaza and 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 gosh, so great. So um. The bridge builder ended up building the bridge. I look, I'm not gonna sp- sp- like explain all the details or anything, but I'm just basically just saying how great Naruto is. Twenty episodes in, and I'll be back ten episodes later to explain what happened. Them ten episodes. So, um, they you know they ended up scrapping again. Zabasa, Haku, they pulled back up to the village. They they want to smoke. Basically, they're trying to get rid of the bridge builder. You know, cause cause that's what they're getting paid to do. I mean, it's. They don't really have a, real, a hand in it. It just, you know, that's what they get uh, paid to do. But the thing about Haku, though, is that he he has a... Naruto explained his backstory so great. But I don't understand. I don't get it. I don't. I really, 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 really do not know why this dude looks so feminine. Okay, be a boy. But why you gotta look so feminine? I even think he had his nails painted. He had the long hair. He got the feminine features. He got long eyelashes. But he's a boy. I don't. I don't get it. He even got a, a, a sweet, a sweet feminine voice. But 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 he's a boy. I, I just don't get it. Just make him a girl at this point. The only thing, the only thing that's stopping him from being a girl is the fact that they call him a boy. That's the only thing. I'm thinking this guy is a girl the whole like he keeps saying he's a boy. I'm just saying, like, bro, you a girl, bro. You a girl, like you even got the voice. You even got the voice. You got the hair. You when he when he was in the village with Naruto, when when he was in the village with Naruto, he even had like a pink dress on. He even had a pink dress on. Like, what? Like you you're really trying your best to And you gonna say, by the way, I'm a boy. What? And, like, and Naruto said the best. He said he looked prettier than Sakura. That's wild. That is so wild. I, I don't, I don't know. But besides that, besides just the, the physical, what a freaking character! Like, oh my gosh, he even had a backstory. You know, he basically just wanted, he just wanted to have. Uh, a reason to live, and he wanted to do it for Zabasa. He he didn't mind just being like his pawn per se, because I mean that's just what he wanted to do. Even in in the end, he ended up dying for Zabasa. I mean, like episode eight, no seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, like pure, pure, pure. Like oh my god, I'm I'm sitting here watching like in awe. 17, 18, 19, pure. Pure. And, oh my gosh. 
then, cause um, uh, there's so many things that happen. But I'm just gonna explain the big thing. So, um, uh, so Kakashi had pulled out like his uh lightning blade, whatever. You know, I don't know. He he turned his wrist up. His lightning coming all up, all up in this stuff. And he was about to basically take out Zabasa because he he was basically being he was in a headlock. <laughs> Um, not literally, but figuratively, he was in a headlock. He got, he like uh Kakashi had some dogs pull up from the from the ground, biting on him from every like angle, basically held held him still. And so Kakashi was going to finish him off. He just gonna go ahead and take him out. Oh my gosh, how could I forget about the part where he? Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, like, there's so many things that happen in Naruto. I'm sorry if I don't cover everything, but I'm just covering the basics. So then, you know, he Kashi pulled out lightning blade. You know, light. I mean, lightning coming out his his hand and stuff. He about to stab. Him. Boom. Haku came in like, cause he was in the middle of fighting Naruto, and and like, oh my God, how could I forget about the part where Naruto basically turned up, turned up his his nine tail falcon. Fantastic, but I'm only talking about the ones that matter to me at least. So he he pulled up right in right like right in the middle of of when when Kakashi about to, to strike Zabsa, basically take him out. Haku came at a perfect perfect time, last second, took the blow, boom, hand in his chest, copping up blood, blood coming out. I was like, damn, bro. He he basically he he really completed his mission for Zafsa. I mean, obviously at the end Zafsa died as well, but it was beautiful. And then like later Naruto started like explaining to Zafsa how could you be so insensitive to to like Haku's death and Cause this Kagato was basically kicking him on the side of the head. Uh, this this dead this this dead little boy, little girl, this dead little boy, and he like I mean, cause I was basically wasn't doing anything. He was just looking at him basically like a pawn. But deep down inside his heart, he really had some real feelings for uh, Haku. He you know looked at him as basically as a son, and he basically realized it. He realized how could he be so indifferent, and um, yeah, as Naruto throw him like a shuriken or whatever, caught, he caught the shuriken in his mouth, the handle part in his mouth. And I, when I mean the fire scene I've ever seen in, in Naruto so far, that I mean the fire scene, he started slashing up these folks with a shuriken in his hand, and his, but like his both his arms are dead, they're basically broken because. I mean, uh, cause uh, Kakashi had put like bl- like stabbed him in his arm. He can't even use his arms. Got some, he got uh, legs though, and and he was using his, like the blade that was in his mouth, and just <laughs> like slicing these dudes' throats open with the shuriken. Like I, I mean, the fire scene I've seen so far. The fire scene I've seen so far. Just slice him, slice him. Cause he's trying to get the Gato. Gato, Gato, Gato. Gato basically, he he was on the go. He was on the go. Like, bro, I don't want no smoke. He, like he basically said he was a demon. He, he ended up catching up with him, and like, like this, this writing was so great. He had said, "Uh, you know, Gato, you going where I'm going, which was hell." I was like, "Damn!" Like, he sliced them up basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gato fall in the water, gone. Um, at this time, Zabasa had like a bunch of sores on his back. Um, he he was basically dying. Uh. And they, they were explaining like this was like the ninja way. This is how ninjas supposed to go out. And this was said before in the Haku fight, but like I said, I'm not gonna explain every detail. Just I'm just here to say how fantastic Naruto is. Twenty episodes in, and so afterwards he, um, you know, Kakashi picked up uh, the dying, the dying. Uh, Oh my gosh, Zabasa, you know, because he, he wanted his last wish to be able to see Haku again, because, you know, Haku was on the, on the floor dead, so uh, Kakashi pick, picked up uh, Zabasa, laid him right next to Haku, 
and he was taking a look at him. He, he had this beautiful dialogue where he was explaining, like, you know, basically showing, uh, expressing his love for Haku and for his loyalty and whatever. And I remember what Kakashi said, you know, because he said that, uh, because I was obviously say he, he wished he could see Haku where he was going. Because obviously, he's obviously going to, death, or going to hell. Because, you know, what he done in his life. But Haku was going to heaven. Because he was such a gentle and sweet spirit and soul. So, and, but Kakashi said something so beautiful. He said that, you know, who knows? You know, he said, you know, you might see Haku again. Who knows? Something like that. Don't quote me on it. But, like, he. Like, it, it was just beautiful, man. Like, it was just wonderful. Wonderful. And then afterwards, you know, they wrapped it all up. No, 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 no. I forgot about the crowd part. It's the crowd pull up or got to pull up and whatever. Yeah, yeah. So that explains that. But not only that, but how could I forget? They didn't even want any smoke. They didn't even want any smoke with Kakashi and Team, team Seth. Hey, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, so much as that, but it was so fire. So, um, the kid, I can't think of his name. Well, with, with that, with that cool dad, uh, who basically died, was basically crucified. He, he pulled up with the whole village. He basically, he regained his strength. And how can I forget about Naruto? And Naruto inspired so many people throughout the, throughout the whole TV show so far. Naruto has inspired Basically everybody. He he's a such an inspiration, and not not to mention like like he inspired Zabasa, a guy the basically a cold hearted, cold hearted devil basically demon, and he he got him to to think differently about his own partner. That is insane. He inspired that that kid too. He inspired that kid, and um, he I mean he pulled up with the whole village, bro. Like he he gave him courage enough enough courage to like to protect his mom. Like I'm all over the place, but like I said, I'm 20 episodes in. I finished 20, episode 20 yesterday. Um, it's fun. To, it's gonna be the start of the Junine exams. I cannot wait. Uh, Kishan already, or Kita B's been already been telling me about how fire is going to be. I can, I literally cannot wait. I cannot wait. But this is not like no any review or anything like that. I'm just like, I just can't believe. It's so good. I want to share it with you. That's my whole thing. I just want to be able to share it with you. Like, it is so fire. And maybe one day we could talk about this. Like. It's so inspiring. Like Naruto is absolutely fantastic. And if you haven't watched it yet, I highly, and I mean highly, recommend that you watch it. Because oh my goodness, I haven't watched an anime like this before. I watched a little bit of Attack on Titan, but I like it. But it's it's weird because it's like it tries its hardest to make me like it. Oh my gosh, I might be setting myself up for failure. But I mean. It's just really good. It's really good. I mean, I like it, but it's just, I get it. Naruto. I'm only 20 episodes in. It's almost like it's game over. Like, Dragon Ball Z always gonna have a special place in my heart, though. Ain't, ain't going nowhere. But Naruto, game over. Game over. Like, I ain't never, ever watched anything like this before. Like, oh my god. If you haven't watched Naruto now, I highly, I highly recommend you watch it. And, this video is basically like me just breaking down like how far Naruto is, just how it all pieced together. Like this, absolutely wonderful. I mean, absolutely. And oh my gosh, I just, I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to watch more episodes of it. And ten episodes later, oh, after I thought I watched uh, at least get to episode thirty or thirty-one. I'll be back. I'll be back with with another, like not breakdown. I'm I'm horrible at breakdowns. I'm not breaking down the the story. I'm just breaking down how fire it is and how good the show is and how much I recommend you guys to watch it. Oh my gosh, bro! Like it, it's just 
I haven't watched anything like this ever. Like, it's so good. It is so good. Like, I'm going to sit here on the edge of my seat. Like, I cannot wait for the next episode. I cannot wait. Like, it got me feeling like a kid. It got me feeling like a kid again. <laughs> it's insane, bro. It is insane. It's insane. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I just want to share this with y'all, man. Because it's like, whew, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kid Beast. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. But it just made me wonder, though, like, the, it's just, I don't know, bro. I just want to say thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. And thank you, Keyshawn, for putting me on. Again, at least. But now I'm watching, and I just, ooh, I can't wait. Thank y'all. Thank you.